Homes along Wimbish Road and Old Lundy Road took a beating. Suzanne Lawler went to visit a North Macon congregation where a vital piece of history simply came tumbling down. When they built this sanctuary in 1980, it was a big deal the day the steeple was placed. That was the last part of a long building project. Families even signed their names on the cross at the top of the pinnacle. At sunrise Tuesday morning, everything looked calm. At the moment we were watching out of the window, you know, the trees were horizontal and power lines were everywhere. That's when we sort of hunkered down in the hallway. Nature's rage came in fast and ferocious. Ultimately heard a big boom in the building and it was the steeple of the church falling on top of us. I started hearing water inside the building and began to investigate and realized that we had two gaping holes in the roof and of course uh, a tower open to the sky, uh, which prompted me to say, what happened to our steeple? The steeple laid on the black rooftop, slaughtered by the squalls. Crane crews moved in Wednesday to bring the beast to the ground. It took a good bit of the morning to gently get it to the concrete. Most of the metal that meant so much will go to the scrap heap. My primary emotion is gratitude, it really is. This is a great congregation, they'll weather this just fine. Um, you never want to see damage to a building you care about, but no one was hurt. This entire mass of steel weighed 8,000 pounds, and the crew, they really did a good job bringing it down. Look, this is where they anticipated it coming, where they maybe three, four feet away from where they thought it would be. This is the only part that's, it really is weighing heavy on people's hearts. This is part of the cross right there. It is completely destroyed. Pastor Hawkins hopes that they will find the other pieces inside the sanctuary. And he says they're gonna do something special with that, like try and stitch it together and maybe put it where the entire congregation can see. Reporting in Macon, 13 WMAZ News. All right, and we have put the entire video of the crews taking the steeple off the roof today inside the story on 13WMAZ.com. Pastor Hawkins says they'll work it out on whether they'll be able to hold worship services in the building this weekend.